have the Dark Chapel. A little bit different than our regular Royal Chapels. This one already uh, admits that it's dark and demonic, and uh, the music is wonderful. Although, you're gonna have that all the time in this game. And uh, we already got our first annoying enemies. The Imps, they're back, as always. Oh my gosh. Never, never, uh, never a dull moment with the Imps. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I need to have one that has, uh, flying armor in it. That's the thing that makes sense. Yeah, I still can't get it, but we got a sexy witch. <laughs> I just call them that, because I think that's what they always look like they're trying to be. I don't know. I'm not really sure what their mission is with that. That's okay. Right. Into a uh, new area of the castle. Here we go. No haze. Come on, bat. Let's do it, bat. The bat actually is pretty useful. It actually does more than one damage, which I'm actually surprised by, considering how familiar his work in uh, previous Castlevania titles. Except for maybe Sword Brother, but still. Looks a little familiar, but instead of copying, or not copying, instead of mimicking or parroting off of uh, Sophia Knight, we're parroting off of uh, Arius Aria, which I guess is okay. Hey, Sniper of Goth! Or in this time, the Amlarak Sniper. He's a jerkhead. Yikes. Hey, speaking of great armor, if we get his soul, we get a better longsword already. Uh, it's very unlikely. Oh my god. Looks a lot more men menacing in this game. And, uh, as always, the rarity's only two-star. Although, like I said, that's still no big, uh... <laughs> It would be nice, I tell you what, it certainly would be nice. I remember the first time playing this game, I uh, ended up using a uh, weapon that was found in a breakable wall, and I used it until the end of the game, and it was pretty weak. <laughs> but I used it, because I never really went crazy with the grinding of the souls. I felt that was kind of very, I don't know, unnecessary, I guess. But, you know, it is kind of necessary sometimes, and if we get find ourselves too stuck, maybe we'll do it, but hopefully not. Kind of just depends, I guess. Alright. I like the cat in this game, uh, instead of just a regular cat, it has a little witch hat on it. Kind of cute. See, the ghost rarity is three star, and that makes sense considering how, um, how many times they, they can appear, seriously. Oh, it's so nice to have two different sets. Oh, so good. I'm pretty sure they stick with that for the rest of the game, the rest of the series. Oh, we got a boss battle already. Are we really ready for a boss battle? I'm not really sure. Let's uh, try to see if we explore if we find something else first. We're actually pretty lacking in equipment right now, and you can't synthesize armor. So the smart thing would be to buy the best armor you can find, or definitely try to look for different types of armor. Hey, look at these familiar enemies. What if they still curse you? Hmm. A very familiar place now, huh? And uh, still really annoying in enemies. Yikes! Holy shit! Gotcha. Interesting little puppet doll right here. Looks like we're not going there right now. I wouldn't mind that item though. Oh my god, this is horrible. They're really bad in this game, holy shit! Alright, I'm getting it. Hey, but we got their soul anyway. Summon Mini Devil is a familiar. Oh, that sounds actually pretty pleasing. Oh, look at him. Now that looks pretty good to me. Yeah! Though it drains the magic a lot quicker, so I'm not sure. But maybe we can sustain it. Well, I don't know how prepared we are, but uh, let's give this uh, boss a shot. Oh boy. Alright, we need the next seal.
Well, Dimitri is no more already, and it seemed like we almost got his soul, but that can't be, that's a human. Strange. But, uh, wow, I almost completely fucked my fight there. Um, basically this guy can copy any any guardian and any, um, bullet soul you use on him, and you can use that for your advantage by crippling him with, like, a skeleton move. But, uh, I didn't know he could take guardian souls, and when he got that cursing mini devil, that was awful. <laughs> But, uh, and then I accidentally used slime for whatever stupid reason, and that was even worse. But, um, you know, that's just the way it works, and, uh, we, 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 we found our way around it. But, luckily the armor soul helped, where I could just use, uh, my partisan to reach him. But, wow, that was dangerous. I'm going back to save it, and then we'll head back to the right. Hey, and now we've got a new enemy in here, that, uh, Dragon Rider, or Queasel Quotal, I guess. A little bit harder this time around, because you can't just sit in a nice, uh, arcing position. He actually uh, randomized a little bit. So, uh, just, uh, a little detail I noticed that makes him a little harder. This game is definitely a little bit more difficult than ours are, though. That's, uh, completely for sure. What a lot of places we see we can't reach yet. We need some sort of double jump. And another boss? Are you kidding me? Ah, man. I don't have no potions, though. Alright, let's give it a shot. Man, these boss fights are actually pretty exhilarating, especially when I try to purposely, I mean, I'm not trying to, like, make it too easy, I'm not buying so many potions, and I had no food there. One more hit, and I would have died, and I really tried to do as much as I could. That mini devil is actually pretty useful. But uh, now we've got Malphus, the double jump. Instead of just getting the Guardian Soul from a candle, we actually had to fight the beast this time, and look at that, double jump. Awesome. Now we can get some other places. What hoop earring? What's that do? 
Eh, not that big of a deal. Yeah, I think I'm gonna drop my one luck for a power belt. That's too much extra equipment. Oh, nice! We got the Great Armor's Soul! How fucking lucky on the backtrack! Now, that is one cool part about that system, though, is that if you do get lucky, it feels good. <laughs> Someone Great Armor as a familiar, but is the soul better, though? I don't know, I really like this homing mini-devil. That's actually pretty damn cool. Yeah, that could really help us. But uh, I kind of like the range of the better, and I would like a better um, sword already. That's even better. Hey, nice! Give that too! I'm the Rick Sniper. Summon an archer to support you. All right, we're having a lot of fun with your souls. I'm going to just go ahead and get the fragger off, because that's a lot rarer. Oh, and look, we got the longsword here, too. Interesting. So we didn't have to upgrade it for the corpse weed. It was right here. Oh, well. So let's explore more of the Garden of Madness. There's this whole down area for some reason I never explored. Very interesting. And uh, there's a strange door here. 777 it shows. 983. Well, let's look at our screen. What's 983? The last three digits of our gold. So if we have 777 over the last three digits of our gold and we ever see that, let's head back to this door. Curious. Oh, looks like we're not going any further down. We need a Skola of some sort. Okay. Alright, let's grab our Fragger Rock to give it our precious great armor. It's a pretty sweet uh, thing, but our sword is more important. There we go. Fragger Rock was crafted. So in order to get... we can we can reverse back... Oh, never mind. I'm stupid. <laughs> okay, we need a Moleska, and we know exactly to get her hunting. Oh, no, this is cool. They do kind of do this. I was wrong. So we can go a poison route to get Herunting with Moleska, or we can fight a tree ant and get Mistletane. Um, so the tree ants are in Garden of Madness, they both are in Garden of Madness, so hopefully we'll get one when we pass by a tree ant or a Moleska. But for now, let's see what Fragorock check looks like. That looks kind of the same. <laughs> oh wait, no, we had, the, we had the wrong longsword on. Okay, there we go. A little bit thicker and a little bit uh, longer, nice. New stuff fitting, sounds good. Let's sell some stuff first. Oh, they sell for nice amounts of money. So I got 16,000 gold. Let's see what you got. Still the same map, okay. I can buy the upgraded Claymore, which would actually be better than my Fragger Rock, but I don't think I'm going to use Fragger Rock because I just wasted a soul to get it. Same thing with Halberd, which is a better axe. A lot of money, though. Uh, not that much new stuff. I think I'm just going to buy better defense, since uh, that's kind of something that was hurting for us last time. Yeah, I'm just going to buy this ring mail. There we go. Save our money. For, but I should buy some potions. I have none. So uh, we'll buy four potions. There we go. 